Hello, my name is Carrie and I'm a cookbook diva and today we're going to look through the Modern Tagine Cookbook Delicious Recipes for Moroccan One-Pot Meals by Gilly Bassan. I don't own a tagine. Ooh, pretty. Pretty. But maybe I will borrow one from my local Buy Nothing group and see how it goes and then I can return it if it doesn't work. So far, so pretty. Let's check out the table of contents. Meat and poultry, fish and shellfish, beans and pulses, vegetables, fruits and nuts, couscous and salads at the very back. Okay. Introduction, la la la, I never read those on camera. Here's some peppers. Shermoula, Ras El Hanout, am I pronouncing these okay? Preserved lemons, I do have some of those in my kitchen or fridge, thanks to Trader Joe's. We're starting off with a bang, meat and poultry. We're getting right into it, I like that. This is a classic lamb tagine with almonds, prunes, and apricots. I'm starting to like apricots finally, and it's thanks to the Moroccan vegetarian food I've been eating. Lamb tagine with chestnuts, saffron, and pomegranate seeds. I can't show you every picture, so I'm gonna skip ahead and find a good one. Uh, how about chicken tagine with preserved lemons, green olives, and thyme? I've heard of other recipes for chicken where they pair it with green olives. Wow. Spicy chicken tagine with apricots, rosemary, and ginger. I didn't know that Moroccans used ginger. I thought that was more of a Thai and Indian thing. Hmm. Okay. Here's a beautiful serving dish and a duck tagine with pears and cinnamon. Wow. Okay, we got to get out of the meat section because I can't preview the entire cookbook. Beef. Okay, fish and shellfish. Monkfish tagine with preserved lemon and mint. I knew we'd see some mint in this cookbook. Prawn tagine with saffron, ginger, and fennel. So lots of interesting flavor combinations. How about creamy shellfish tagine with fennel and harissa? Now we're in the beans and pulses, and I actually am forgetting, having a brain fart, what a pulse is. Lentils? Roasted aubergine, tomato and chickpea tagine with yogurt. Artichoke tagine with broad beans, apricots, and almonds. That sounds really good and healthy, and I wouldn't have thought to use artichoke. Ooh, I might try making that. Butter bean tagine with cherry tomatoes and black olives. And I have a can of canned cherry tomatoes in my pantry and butter beans and black olives, so mmm. Chickpea and spinach tagine with yogurt. Okay, you get the drift. Cauliflower and chickpea tagine with harissa and preserved lemon. That would probably be the first thing I would try making out of this cookbook because I love cauliflower and I don't often know what to do with it. Okay, bean tagine with harissa and coriander. Okay. Lentil tagine, spicy carrot. Okay, now we're into vegetables. I bet they're using eggplant. Three pepper tagine with eggs and ras al hanou. Pepper? No, not for me. I'm a whip. Oh, this is beautiful. Wait till you see this picture. Roasted cherry tomato tagine with feta and preserved lemon. Yum. It's I'm getting a little Greek influence because of the feta, but the Greeks wouldn't probably use preserved lemon, so that's the Moroccan touch. Okay. Baby aubergine tagine, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, with coriander and mint. How about, ooh, courgette, zucchini, okra and tomato tagine with lemon. A little Southern American, I, there, okay. Artichokes with ginger, honey, and preserved lemon. Look how pretty those look. I didn't know you could cook artichokes in a tagine. Of course you can, because it steams them, duh. Okay. Carrot and potato tagine with peas. Let's get to the next chapter, but there's so many vegetable dishes. Roasted sweet potato tagine with ginger, cinnamon, and honey. Okay, fruits and nuts. Is this going to be desserts that you cook in a tagine? Stuffed prune tagine with walnuts and rose water. Does not look appetizing, but I'd eat it. It's just hard to take a good picture of it. Roasted pear tagine with figs, walnuts, and cardamom. Now that looks appetizing. Uh, yam and shallot tagine with garlic, prunes, and orange. Wow! <laughs> That's a hard sell. Yams, eh, okay. Shallots, okay. Garlic, prunes, and oranges. 
that's a little above my taste palette, but I'll work on it because it's probably really good. Pumpkin, apple, and sultana tagine with tremula. Remind me what sultanas are. Are they raisins? I should look that up. Roasted butternut squash. Butternut squash. Now we're in the final chapter. Couscous and salads. Plain buttery couscous. Couscous with braised fennel, courgette and orange. Okay. That wouldn't be my favorite, but I'd eat it. Saffron couscous with roasted coconut and pistachios. Couscous with dried fruit and nuts. I love the way they serve them. That's so pretty. Okay, and how about we finish the day with parsley, walnut, and tomato salad with pomegranate syrup. And then the end plate of the book is that same beautiful spices in the market. Wow, I love it. The modern tagine cookbook. I immediately saw several things I wanted to try making as soon as I borrow one of my neighbor's tagines, which I will return promptly and cleaned and dried properly and not broken. So thank you for watching our cookbook review. If you'd like to see more of them, you can find Cookbook Divas on our blog at cookbookdivas.com. We post videos on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and occasionally on Pinterest, and we also have a podcast. Thanks again!